Have you ever wondered about strange creatures that might exist beyond our everyday reality? What if there were beings among us, hidden in plain sight, with abilities and origins far beyond our understanding? Today, we're diving into a fascinating and controversial topic that has captured the imagination of many. Reptilians. We'll explore who they are, where they might come from, and why sightings of these enigmatic entities seem to be on the rise. Let's start by understanding what we mean when we talk about reptilians. In the world of conspiracy theories and alternative beliefs, reptilians are often described as intelligent, bipedal creatures with reptile-like features. They're said to have scaly skin, slit-pupiled eyes, and sometimes even tails. But what sets them apart from simple animals is their supposed high intelligence and alleged ability to shapeshift into human form. The idea of reptilians isn't new. It has roots in various cultures and mythologies around the world. Ancient civilizations often depicted gods or powerful beings with reptilian characteristics. In Mesopotamian mythology, for example, there are stories of the Anunnaki, godlike beings, sometimes described with reptilian features. Native American folklore includes tales of snake brothers or lizard-like creatures. These ancient stories have been reinterpreted and woven into modern conspiracy theories about reptilians. In recent decades, the concept of reptilians has gained traction in certain circles. Some believe these beings are extraterrestrials who have been visiting Earth for thousands of years. Others propose their interdimensional entities, able to move between different realities. There are even those who suggest reptilians evolved on Earth alongside humans but have remained hidden. Now, let's delve deeper into the reported traits of these alleged reptilians. According to those who claim to have encountered them, reptilians are typically described as tall, often over seven feet in height. Their skin is said to be scaly and greenish or grayish in color, though some reports mention other hues. Their eyes are frequently described as large, sometimes glowing, with vertical pupils like those of a snake or lizard. One of the most intriguing aspects of reptilian lore is their supposed ability to shapeshift. Believers claim that reptilians can take on human form, allowing them to blend in with human society. This ability is often central to conspiracy theories that suggest reptilians have infiltrated positions of power in governments and influential organizations worldwide. Beyond their physical appearance, reptilians are often attributed with various superhuman abilities. Some say they possess incredible strength and agility. Others claim they have advanced telepathic and psychic powers, allowing them to manipulate human minds. There are even stories of reptilians being able to control time and space. The origins of reptilians are a subject of much speculation among believers. One popular theory suggests they're extraterrestrials from a distant star system, perhaps Alpha Draconis, in the constellation Draco. According to this idea, reptilians visited Earth in ancient times and have maintained a presence here ever since influencing human civilization from behind the scenes. Another theory proposes that reptilians are interdimensional beings. This concept draws on ideas from quantum physics and theories about parallel universes. Proponents of this view suggest that reptilians exist in a different dimension or vibrational frequency, only occasionally crossing over into our reality. This could explain why sightings are relatively rare and why physical evidence of their existence has been hard to come by. A third, less common theory speculates that reptilians evolved on Earth alongside humans. This idea often ties into alternative theories about human evolution and hidden aspects of Earth's history. Some proponents of this view believe that reptilians are descendants of dinosaurs that developed intelligence and went into hiding to avoid extinction. Now let's look at some 
notable reptilian sightings that have been reported over the years. While it's important to approach these accounts with a critical mind, they provide insight into the experiences that fuel belief in reptilians. One of the most famous alleged encounters occurred in 1988 in South Carolina. A woman claimed to have seen a seven-foot-tall lizard-like creature with glowing red eyes. The incident gained significant attention in the UFO and cryptozoology communities. In the 1990s, several people in Los Angeles reported seeing humanoid lizard creatures in and around the city's extensive network of underground tunnels. These sightings led to speculation about secret reptilian bases beneath major cities. More recently, in 2018, a man in South Carolina, again, reported seeing a red-eyed demon that he described as having a lizard-like appearance. The incident revived interest in reptilian sightings in the area. It's worth noting that many of these sightings occur in areas with a history of strange phenomena or UFO activity. This has led some researchers to suggest a connection between reptilian sightings and other unexplained events. Interestingly, reports of reptilian sightings seem to be increasing in recent years. This trend has caught the attention of researchers and enthusiasts in the field. But what could be causing this apparent rise in encounters? One possible explanation is the growing popularity of conspiracy theories and alternative beliefs in the digital age. The internet and social media have made it easier than ever for people to share their experiences and find others with similar beliefs. This increased visibility might be encouraging more people to come forward with their own sightings or interpretations of strange experiences. Another factor could be the mainstreaming of UFO and alien-related topics in recent years. As government agencies become more open about investigating unexplained aerial phenomena, it may be creating an environment where people feel more comfortable reporting unusual sightings of all kinds, including potential reptilian encounters. Some researchers suggest that environmental factors could be playing a role. Changes in the Earth's magnetic field or increases in certain types of electromagnetic radiation could theoretically affect how we perceive reality, potentially leading to more frequent sightings of anomalous phenomena. It's also possible that the increase in sightings is more perceived than real. With the 24-hour news cycle and the rapid spread of information online, reports of reptilian encounters might simply be getting more attention and reaching a wider audience than in the past. While the idea of reptilians is fascinating to many, it's important to consider skeptical perspectives as well. Scientists and rationalists have proposed several explanations for reptilian sightings and beliefs. One common explanation is misidentification. In moments of stress or unusual lighting conditions, ordinary animals or objects might be mistaken for something more exotic. The human brain is wired to find patterns and meaning, sometimes leading us to see things that aren't really there. Psychological factors could also play a role. The concept of reptilian humanoids taps into deep-seated human fears and fascinations. Our brains are particularly attuned to detecting human-like shapes and faces, a phenomenon known as pareidolia. This could lead to people interpreting ambiguous stimuli as reptilian entities. Some psychologists suggest that belief in reptilians might serve a psychological function for some individuals. It could provide a way of making sense of a complex and sometimes frightening world or offer a sense of special knowledge in a world full of uncertainty. From a sociological perspective, belief in reptilians might be seen as a modern myth that reflects current cultural anxieties. Just as ancient myths often featured monsters and gods that represented natural forces or social issues, the idea of shape-shifting reptilians could be seen as a representation of fears about hidden power structures and loss of control in the modern world. It's also worth considering how the concept of reptilians has influenced popular culture. 
the idea has been featured in numerous books, movies, and TV shows. This media representation can create a feedback loop where fictional portrayals inspire real-world beliefs, which in turn influence more media creations. In science fiction, reptilian aliens are a common trope. From the Gorn in Star Trek to the Silurians in Doctor Who, lizard-like humanoids have been a staple of the genre for decades. These portrayals often play on the otherness of reptiles, using them to represent the truly alien. Conspiracy theories about reptilians have also made their way into popular culture. Some public figures have been accused of being reptilians in disguise, often based on out-of-context video clips or photographs. While these claims are not supported by evidence, they've become a recurring theme in certain corners of the internet. The influence of reptilian lore extends beyond entertainment. Some people have incorporated beliefs about reptilians into their personal spirituality or worldview. This has led to the development of various practices and ideologies centered around resisting supposed reptilian influence or tapping into hidden human potential. As we explore this topic, it's natural to wonder about personal experiences. Many people report having dreams or visions involving reptilian beings. Others describe a sense of recognition when they first hear about the concept of reptilians, as if it's awakening some deep, hidden knowledge. If you've had experiences that you think might be related to reptilians, it's important to approach them with an open but critical mind. Keep a journal of your experiences, noting as many details as possible. Look for patterns or connections, but also consider alternative explanations. It's also valuable to discuss your experiences with others, whether they share your beliefs or not. Engaging in respectful dialogue can help broaden your perspective and deepen your understanding. However, be cautious about jumping to conclusions or accepting extraordinary claims without strong evidence. As we continue to search for truth in this complex and mysterious world, it's crucial to balance curiosity with critical thinking. The idea of reptilians challenges our understanding of reality and raises profound questions about the nature of our universe and our place in it. Whether or not reptilians exist in the way some believe, the concept encourages us to think beyond our everyday experiences and consider the possibilities of what might exist beyond our current knowledge. It pushes us to question our assumptions and look at the world with fresh eyes. At the same time, it's important to approach these ideas with a healthy skepticism. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. While keeping an open mind, we should also seek out reliable information, consider multiple perspectives, and be willing to change our views in light of new evidence. The search for truth about reptilians and other mysterious phenomena is ongoing. Scientists continue to explore the frontiers of physics, consciousness, and the nature of reality. Meanwhile, researchers in fields like cryptozoology and ufology investigate reports of strange creatures and unexplained phenomena. As individuals, we can contribute to this search by staying informed, thinking critically, and sharing our experiences and insights with others. Whether you're a firm believer in reptilians, a skeptic, or somewhere in between, your perspective is valuable in the ongoing dialogue about these fascinating ideas. In conclusion, the concept of reptilians remains a subject of intense debate and speculation. From ancient myths to modern conspiracy theories, the idea of reptilian humanoids has captured human imagination for centuries. While concrete evidence for their existence remains elusive, reports of sightings continue to emerge, fueling ongoing interest and discussion. The increasing number of reported reptilian encounters in recent years raises intriguing questions. Is this a result of growing awareness and openness to unusual phenomena? 
Could it be linked to changes in our environment or consciousness? Or is it simply a reflection of our evolving cultural mythology? As we've explored, there are many perspectives on the reptilian phenomenon. Some see it as evidence of hidden realities or extraterrestrial involvement in human affairs. Others view it as a modern myth that reveals more about human psychology and society than about any external reality. Regardless of where you stand on the issue, the topic of reptilians offers a fascinating lens through which to explore bigger questions about the nature of reality, human perception, and the unknown. It challenges us to consider the limits of our knowledge and the possibilities that might exist beyond our current understanding. As we move forward, let's continue to approach this and other mysterious topics with a balance of open-mindedness and critical thinking. By remaining curious, questioning our assumptions, and respecting diverse perspectives, we can deepen our understanding of the world around us and the mysteries it holds. Remember, the journey of discovery is ongoing. Whether or not reptilians exist as some believe, the exploration of this idea can lead us to new insights about ourselves, our world, and the nature of belief itself. Keep questioning, keep exploring, and stay open to the wonders and mysteries that surround us every day. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of the reptilian phenomenon. I hope this discussion has sparked your curiosity and encouraged you to delve deeper into the mysteries of our world. Until next time, keep your eyes open, your mind sharp, and your sense of wonder alive. The truth is out there, waiting to be discovered.